Hi students, this is A. Mandari Kumar Rajesh. In this video, we are going to discuss a topic called classification of algae. There are many classifications put forwarded by many scientists, but in this video, we are going to discuss the classification which was proposed by F. E. Fritsch. F. E. Fritsch classified the algae mainly based on pigmentation, reproduction, mode of nutrition, and talus structure. He published his classification in the book entitled The Structure and Reproduction of the Algae in the year 1935. He classified that the algae into 11 classes. They are Chlorophyceae, Bacillirophyceae, Xanthophyceae, Euglenophyceae, Cyanophyceae, Rhodophyceae, Pheophyceae, Chrysophyceae, Cryptophyceae, Xanthophyceae, and Chloromonodiae. So, in this video, we are going to mainly concentrate on the salient features of three classes. They are Chlorophyceae, Pheophyceae, and Rhodophyceae. Let me tell about the first class, Chlorophyceae. The members of this class are usually known as green algae because due to the presence of chlorophyll pigment, the pigment are predominantly present when compared to other pigments like xanthophylls and carotenoids. So that is why this class is otherwise called as green algae. They are mostly aquatic. They are freshwater as well as marine water. Example for freshwater is Spirogyra. The example for marine water is Alva. Few are terrestrial. Example Trent Hohelia. Trent Hohela. Then the third point photosynthetic pigments are chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, carotenes, and xanthophyll. This chlorophyll A is otherwise called this universal pigment because this pigment are present in all kinds of algae, all the class of algae. So that is why this pigment is mentioned as universal pigment. So in all algae you can find the pigment chlorophyll A. That is why this pigment is called as universal pigment. So photosynthetic pigments are chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, carotenes, xanthophylls. Fourth point, that algae contains chlorophyceae algae contains different types of chloroplast. Example, cup-shaped chloroplast which is present in the algae Chlamydia monas. Discoid-shaped chloroplast present in Cara. Triddle-shaped chloroplast present in the Helothrix. Reticulate network-like chloroplast present in Eudogonium. Spiral-shaped chloroplast present in Spirogyra. Stellate-shaped chloroplast present in Zygonema, that is Zygonema. Stellate means star-shaped. Plate-like chloroplast which is present in Magotia. Then, cell wall is made up of inner cellulose and outer pectin. So, cell wall is made up of inner layer contains cellulose. The outer layer is made up of pectin. The reserve food material is starch. The algae can store reserve food material as starch. Pyrenites are present. It is a proteinaceous structure which can store starch food material. Then vegetative reproduction takes by means of fragmentation. Asexual reproduction takes place by means of zoospores, alpinospores and akinics. Akinics are a resting spores. It can store starch during favorable condition, it becomes a new individual. Then sexual reproduction takes place by isogamous, anisogamous and oogamous. We have already discussed lot about these terms, isogamous, anisogamous, oogamous, zoospores, alpinospores and alkanites. If you have any doubt, please go through or please listen to the previous videos which I have taught earlier. So that's all about the class Chlorophyceae. Next, I am going to tell about the class Pheophyceae. Let us talk about the salient features of Pheophyceae. The Pheophyceae members are otherwise called as brown algae due to the presence of the accessory pigment called Fucosanthin. It gives golden brown color to the algae. That is why the algae looks brown in color. So Fritsch classified the algae as Pheophyceae, that is brown algae. Pheophyceae means it possesses brown algae. Then 
The brown algae are aquatic and mostly marine. This algae are predominantly present in aquatic environment, especially they are occurring marine environment. Some of the algae can occur in freshwater, example pleurocladia. The thallus is filamentous. That means the plant body is filamentous. They look like a long stalk. It may be a branched or unbranched structure. Example, ectocarpus. Frond like means a leaf like structure called frond. Example, dictyota. Jain kelp. Example, laminaria and macrocystis. That means the algae look macro. They are macroscopic algae. They possess a leaf like structure, a stalk like structure, and they contain a root like structure called hole first. You can observe or you can see this type of algae in the seashore, along the seashore. Example, laminaria macrocystis. Thallus is differentiated into leaf-like photosynthetic part called frond, stalk-like stipe, a stalk-like structure called stipe, hold fast. It is a structure which can attach, which are able to attach the thallus on the substratum. Helps in the attach the thallus to the substratum. Photosynthetic pigments are chlorophyll A, C, carotene and xanthophyll. Laminarian and manitol are the reserve food material. So the brown algae can store the reserve food material as laminarian starch and manitol. Flagellated reproductive cells are with two laterally insetal flagella of unequal length. So asexual reproduction takes place by zoospores. It contains flagella and they are in unequal form. That means they are not, the flagella are not in equal length. So one flagella is called this whiplash, another flagella is called this thin cell. Whiplash flagella means the flagella are smooth without any projections. Thin cell flagella means it contains a hair like projections and they are rough in structure. So the flagellated reproductive cells are with two laterally inserted flagella of unequal length. Sexual reproduction takes place by isogamy and oogamy. Alternation of generation is present. The sporophytic and gametophytic generation alternate with each other. And it may be isomorphic or heteromorphic. Isomorphic means the sporophyte and gametophyte morphologically similar. While in the case of heteromorphic, sporophytic and the gametophytic generations, that is they are morphologically dissimilar. Example for a Pheophaceae algae or Laminaria, Fucus, Sargassum, Macrocystis, etc. Let us discuss the saline features of Rhodophaceae. The class Rhodophaceae is otherwise called as red algae class because the algae possess a pigment called pycoerythrin. Due to the presence of pycoerythrin, the algae looks red in color. The red algae is the common name for Rhodophaceae. The thallus is multicellular, macroscopic. The thallus get differentiated into root-like, leaf-like, a stalk-like structure. And the thallus was diverse in form. It shows various range of thallus. Example, poor pyridium, unicellular in nature. Filamentous, they show a stalk, long stalk-like structure. Goniotrigum, a ribbon-like thallus. Example, poor pyra. Corallina and lithothamnion are heavily impregnated with lime and form coral reef. So these two algae composed with lime and it forms coral reef. Photosynthetic pigments like chlorophyll A, G, carotene and xanthophyll are present. In addition, pycoerythrin and pycocyanin pigments are present in red algae. Pycoerythrin means red pigment, pycocyanin means blue pigment. The reserve food material is called this Floridian starch. Rhodophaceae can store reserve food material as Floridian starch. Flagellated cells are totally absent. In asexual reproduction, the flagellated cells are totally absent. Asexual reproduction takes place by monospores, neutral spores and tetraspores. Monospores and neutral spores. The asexual reproduction of the gametophyte takes place by monospores and neutrospores. The asexual reproduction of the 
gametophyte takes place by monospores and neutral spores. Neutral spores are developed in ordinary cells of the thallus. Neutral spores are developed in ordinary cells of the thallus, that is in algae. Monospores are developed in sporangia. This monospores are developed in sporangia. A single monospore can develop in a sporangium. Then they are deployed in nature. They never undergo the reduction division. While in the case of tetraspore, the asexual reproduction of the sporophyte takes place by tetraspore. Asexual reproduction of the sporophyte is takes place by tetraspore. This tetraspore can undergo a reduction division and it can produce four haploid nucleus and that four haploid nucleus develop into tetraspores. They develop in the sporangium, tetrasporangium. Sexual reproduction is highly specialized and oogamous type. Example for rhodophyce are Gracilaria, Gelidium, then Coniotrichum, Porpyra, Polypyridium, etc. So that's all about the salient features of Rhodophyceae. Let me tell about the economic importance of algae. Algae like Sargasm, Chlorella, Laminaria, Alva, Enteromorpha are used as food. In some island, these algae are used to make delicious recipes. Gracilaria, Geridella, Gigatina are the algae used to extract agar agar. It is an important component in the lab of microbiology. It is used to make or prepare culture media. Then it is used in textile industry, packaged canned food and cosmetics. Chondrus crispus is an algae used to extract carrogenin. It is used to prepare, it is used in preparation of toothpaste, paint and blood coagulant. Laminaria ascophyllum or the algae used to produce alginate, extract alginate. It is in a compound used in ice cream and paints as an emulsifier. And it is also used to produce flame proof fabrics. Laminaria sargassum fucus ascophyllum are used as fodder. We can use this algae as cattle feed. Diatom. Diatom as yet, it is used to used in water filters, insulation materials, reinforcing agent in concrete and rubber. Lithophyllum, cara, fucus are used as bio fertilizers. Chlorella is an algae, it is used to extract chloralin and antibiotic. Chlorella, Cenidesmus, and Chlamydomonas are the algae are used as pollution indicators and it is also used in sewage treatment. So these are all the beneficial activities of algae. Now I am going to tell you the harmful activities of algae. Example, Cephalurus varicens. It is an algae, it can cause disease in coffee. The disease name is red rust of coffee. Actually it is a parasitic algae which can cause red rust of coffee. This is. So that's all about today's video. If you have any doubt, please clarify with me. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you.